Hi guys, I'm Mohammad Shahzad. So today I'm here uh, with another nice video. It's a continuous series for the previous two videos regarding the free NAS. Today uh, we will go to add RDM disk into our virtual machines or you can use these uh, as you know uh, in my previous video we learned how to add iSCSI basic setups and iSCSI drives and LANs and how we create a pool in FreeNAS. If, the, if somebody didn't saw that video, I will recommend to go back and see the previous two videos related to this series. So you can get a, get a better by, uh, background. Before that, the first video was how to install FreeNAS and second was the iSCSI setup on the FreeNAS. We did here all the setups for the FreeNAS like our uh, storage pools we configured and then uh, we made some uh, iSCSI block shares so here we made it so targets and all we said it in my previous video if somebody missed it just go back and watch that okay so today we are going to use uh, free NAS this as a RDM let's go I'll give you a quick wrap up quick um, uh, intro before we go forward so uh, as you know in our previous video we saw that how we added the targets and um, paths in our data stores like uh, in our ESXi server sorry so like we went to our storage adapters and we added here a target of our uh, free NAS if I bring back down this one also a little okay so this is the free NAS uh, target and uh, we saw that we have uh, one 10 G uh, drive here. Similar, we did on the second ESXi server here. And we added the target devices to our uh, 10 G drive was here. So uh, one thing you can do uh, uh, on this stage, you can just add uh, at this drive as a new you can say new data store this target you can use as a new data store just simple go on there create a new data store you will choose this one vmfs which is salons and desk go to next simply give a name and choose this uh, available LAN from free nas and do next next it will give you a like uh, new data store here but here we are going to use these direct to our two uh, virtual machines which is running uh, 2012 server and our cluster series also going on on the on my other uh, video series so we'll use later on these two them so let's go and uh, try to add um, rdm disk into these two virtual machines so first you have to go on this first node edit settings and then First of all, when you are going to use, you know, uh, your uh, free NAS and the um, SAN storages, you must add a new iSCSI controller because this iSCSI controller zero is running our uh, other dri other drives, which is not physical on the coming from outside. So what we will do, we'll do first to add iSCSI controller. I'll do add, and I will change its uh, bus sharing to physical right that's it and then you can choose type no share or other things but leave as it is like just this is the important okay complete it so secondly i will go now add the rdm disk i'll go here select rdm disk add i will choose this 10 GB capacity disk coming from free NAS okay it is here and I will change the iSCSI controller point to this one where is this one our controller is one and I will choose this one one slash one the similar one colon one similar things you have to choose on the second node as well so I'll do okay hopefully it will give a completed okay due to concurrent modification by another operation okay so he's saying the other operation is going on okay let's wait because still the other one is working on that 
the previous you know just wait a little because it's a bit slow let's see our other is fully and okay I will do just okay and I will try again add a RDM okay add select again okay in the drive I'll choose my SCSI controller this one one and one okay okay completed because we uh, just give a little time to add a controller after that and wait for some seconds or so then you try to add that disk okay that's great so we will go here and we will add it the settings we have to check the vmdk drive name so if i come here this is uh, drive name is node one underscore one dot vmdk so keep in mind if there is a long name you have to note it down because you require that when you come into second node so when we come into second node added settings I will do the same two steps first I will add controller add I will change to physical and I will do ok so now I will wait until it's fully completed then we'll go for a second one so just wait just keep saying it's completed but little time like we previously saw is saying another processor is still running you cannot do by concrete okay it's enough now let's see added settings try to add rdm add oh and there is no rdm why because it's already chosen by uh test node one so how we will add in our second node i'll give you a point so we'll go we'll not choose rdm disk here and we'll use existing hard disk okay add it is a where we'll say here in the node one okay and remember I told you to keep note that name okay select that one underscore one VMDK okay here is the disk we have to point to the controllers like our first controllers and one colon one okay let's try hit okay boom and it's completed so now we have RDM disk mounted in these two nodes so we will finish our this lecture here and uh, next uh, we will go to the other set other lecture for more further i'll move to my other clustering lectures so let's meet there see ya if you like my video kindly hit the like button and then also subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon for upcoming new and nice videos thank you very much